Happy Monday, it's Darlene with Featherweight Doctor here in Redmond, Washington. I'm back in the shop for a few more days before we do another load over to Idaho. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, we spent the weekend doing fire prep, working with forestry uh, to help try and um, <clears throat> minimize the opportunity the, for the fire if it comes through to take out our little, well, the big house and then our, our tiny house. Um, <clears throat> so I am all, look at my arms, I'm all scraped up. I have bruises. I look like I've, <laughs> I look like I lost a, uh, a battle with Tyson. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not on the face. <laughs> but my arms and legs are all scratched up. Um, hold on, this is gonna make a lot of noise here. Are all scratched up. Um, hold on, let's see here. Okay, I have Facebook up. Let me get YouTube up. I hope everybody else had a, a little bit more entertaining weekend than I did. I, I did get to see Mel and Joe last week. Uh, they left on, I think it was Saturday to head out to Glacier. Kind of jelly. I've never been to Glacier before. Now that we'll be living that much closer, I think I will have lost all of my excuses to be able to go. Maybe next summer when I'm not moving and trying to open a store and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> all right, I'm almost here. Let's see, go to live. There I am. Okay, so I want to view in control room. All right, so I am overwhelmed today. That is the the adjective for the the season. Hi, Sandy Martin. Hi, Missy. Um, the, the process of opening the store is, um, is there's just a lot of different facets to it. And um, we're kind of uh, doing things in reverse by having a successful e-commerce business and then moving to a brick and mortar. Most people go from a brick and mortar to e-commerce. We've outgrown our living room, so it's time to it's time to move into a full retail space. And so I am I am overwhelmed with the details. So um, I appreciate everybody's grace if I'm not getting back with you in a timely manner, um, or if we today we found out we sent the wrong product to someone. So I apologize about that. We just we're gonna get our stuff together. I I 100% promise. <laughs> Sandy rewatched the sip and so isn't that fun oh my gosh I had so much fun with them I'm not kidding my cheeks were totally sore by the end of the evening from laughing so hard so so much fun uh Francis is on from Virginia and Cindy Matthews is on hi sweetheart all right let me say hi to some friends and then we're gonna get going I've got two important things to talk to you about tonight um so let's say say hi to everybody so Debbie's on from Kentucky Lisa's on from Phoenix hi uh, Jennifer is on from Verde. Hi, Jennifer. Kathy's on from East Texas. Yeah, so far so good on the house. It's still standing. Um, because there's at least six more weeks left of fire season up there with no real measurable rain in the forecast, the firefighters were not particularly um, encouraging that this was going to be, that the fire was not going to come through in some way, shape, form, or fashion but at least we've done everything that we can to, to protect the structures. And then we just kind of have to be okay with whatever happens next. So um, Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Judy P's on. Hi, sweetheart, from Massachusetts. Becky's on from Kennedale. Patty Smith is over uh, from uh, Missouri on YouTube. Hi, Patty. And Polly's on from UK. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, Polly, we need to talk because I think... I think I'm going to have you on this Wednesday and Lisa on next Wednesday, assuming it's okay with the husband for his birthday. Um, so I don't know what a good time of day to talk to you is with our eight hour time frame. So um, we can talk after this call, after I get off the show, or we can talk tomorrow earlier in the day if that's easier for you. So um, can you email me at info, I-N-F-O at featherweightdoctor.com and we'll probably get on camera so we can have... A conversation via Facebook in advance so that way we're not paying long distance charges okay sorry that was a little bit of business sorry sidetrack the show let's see uh, Becky's on from Kennedale Mel and Joe are on from Glacier National I saw your pictures from earlier 
stunning, stunning, stunning. Hi, Lawrence. Oh, GDP, we're the, there's, um, we were evacuated not this weekend, but last weekend from our second place over in Idaho. Um, the Trestle Creek fire was threatening the structures on Trestle Creek. And so we got evacuated. We were allowed to go back. Um, hi, Kathy Klein from Illinois. We were allowed to go back, but we had a bunch of, we had to work with forestry all weekend to try and do a bunch of prep work, us and like a dozen other people. It was, there was a lot of coordinating people moving limbs and branches and all that fun stuff. Let's see, Linda Woods on from Texas. Oh, no, I haven't put the pretty blue bed covers on our site yet. Okay, I know you want to, and France, Franny, if you're watching, I know you want two thread stands too. Hi, Helen Nickerson. Hello, hello. Bernadette is on from Canada. Hi, sweetheart. Um, the, the shop, Lawrence, is not going to have fabric on the bolt. We're going to carry pre-cuts, um, but I haven't made my fabric selections yet. I have, I'm toying with the idea of establishing an account with Free Spirit so I can get Tula's pre-cuts, but uh, the minimums are kind of excessive, and I, I'm not quite sure I want to bite that off yet, so I'm still waiting to figure that out. Hi, Angel. Hi, Joanne from Mississippi. Oh, good. So, I, you get a hall pass for next week, Lisa, so we, we can still, not this week, but next week. Oh, Franny is here. Hi, Franny. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jennifer, I think I will not carry Dula Pink on the, on the bolt. Hopefully, the pre -guts. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, let's, oh, today Angel had her teacher work day. Back to school. Tracy's on from Virginia. Pauline's on from Texas. <laughs> Hi, Ferris from Indonesia. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Mary's on. Hi, Mary. Can't wait to meet you next week in Omaha. Bonnie's on from Illinois. Hello, hello. Uh-oh, someone's on. Oh, no. Uh-oh, Bernadette, your husband's on. He's being a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes, you guys, we're being creeped on by Bernadette's husband. <laughs> hi, Kim Morin. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, Mary, you want, you're putting in your order too. Okay, girls, if, can you email me so I don't forget you? What, however, however many you want bed covers or the new thread stands, email me at info, I-N-F-O at featherweightdoctor.com. I am not trying to avoid you. I just needed to get caught up on some other stuff today. Okay, and Becky wants blue one. Okay, okay. Send me an email. Send me an email. Hi, George from Maryland. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay, so tonight, well, first of all, let me show you this. So I don't know if you noticed today, Sand Creek Quilting is, <laughs> Franny, creepy husbands are fun. Are they really fun, Franny? <laughs> My husband and I have this stocking app on our phones. It's for like safety reasons. But every once in a while, he'll be like, oh, so you're at, you're at your favorite foot massage place? And I'm like, yikes, creeper, go creep on someone else. <laughs> Margaret, hello in San Diego. Nice. Good job, girl. That sounds awesome. This is our, so our new social media has launched for Sand Creek Quilting. Um, my darling daughter slash assistant slash executive producer slash graphic artist has finished designing our logo. So here is the, the block I provided her. Um, let me explain to you a little bit about it. So, um, Everybody knows I'm a green person. I know, big fat shocker. You can see the variations of the blocks over my shoulder. Isn't that funny? Um, we decided to do green and blue. Green because it had to have green in it. I mean, hello, if you met me, it has to have green in it. And then I really liked the blue because it was like the water and the trees um, there in, in Sandpoint, very much Pacific Northwest colors. And then instead of white, we decided to do sand because the store is called Sand Creek Quilting. If you haven't already done it, go and, and like Sand Creek Quilting on Instagram and Facebook. We have our accounts are up. The new logo is up. Reagan worked really hard on this. Um, she's been just killing it, getting all of the stuff done. Um, this had to be done today because I need to get my print stuff ordered. So this um, is, is what we took care of today. We need some t-shirts that will, you could, oh yes, t-shirts are coming. T-shirts are coming to the website for the launch. Um, there'll be Sand Creek Quilting website or Sand Creek logo t-shirts and Featherweight Doctor t-shirts. So yeah, of course I'm going to 
have t-shirts so you guys can be my walking billboards, you know, just like, <laughs> just like uh, Abercrombie or yeah, just like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> So our first uh, item that we're going to talk about tonight for uh, Ask the Doctor is batting. I know, talk about like a very unsexy topic, batting. But a lot of people don't realize that certain battings are meant for certain things. Hi, Deb from Michigan. Thanks for joining us. Also, batting manufacturers have very specific um not requirements, but in suggestions for how closely when you use their batting, your lines of quilting need to be. So this is important because, for example, <laughs> hi, Julie from Northern Iowa. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, <clears throat> this is important. The batting conversation is important because if you are making, oh, Franny, that's a good idea too. Doctor's jackets. Coffee mugs, you guys are, we're having all this stuff. I'm also having cool aprons made for working on the sewing machines that will say Featherweight Doctor on them too. So there you go. All right, um, the uh, batting needs to be quilted per the manufacturer specifications, some of which can be quilted closer or further apart. And I'm just, when I'm talking about quilting, I'm talking strictly for structural integrity through laundering. So for instance, if you're making a baby quilt, that's gonna see a ton of laundering. Um, I recommend using cotton batting in a baby quilt because it, first of all, most batting, both Quilter's Dream and um, Warm Company batting has to be quilted about every eight to 10 inches. So that way when it goes through the laundering, the batting will stay in one piece. If you've ever purchased like a, when my son was born, we did a bed in a bag thing from Babies R Us. And the first time I went to watch his cute little bed quilt, which was like a blue jean teddy thing for my, my 22 year old son, <laughs> it's hard to even imagine he's that big, but anyway, it um, disintegrated. The batting disintegrated because the the person who you know they made the quilt over in Indonesia. They or in, I guess I'm assuming it's Indonesia. Maybe it's not Indonesia, but they used a polyester batting, which is really fluffy, and it's called lofty. But they machine tacked it every 10 inches. Well, polyester batting, unlike cotton batting, has to generally be quilted every four to six inches. So they were using the cotton batting specifications machine tacking standard on a polyester batting quilt. And when I pulled it out of the washing wash, I kind of cried because of the fact that it was going to, the, it was all in wadding at the bottom of the blanket and it no longer was in its whole form. So it's really important when you buy a, like a um, prepackaged batting, not necessarily batting off of the wall, to make sure you understand what the industry, not the industry standard, but the manufactured standards are for how quilt, how close your lines of quilting have to be. So in here, up here in the great Northwest Tundra, I prefer to use a, a cotton batting. I like a weighty quilt. When I am laying in bed at night, I like feeling the weight of, especially in the wintertime, multiple quilts piled up. So in general, I use the warm company's batting. Um, <clears throat> now, if I'm doing a quilt that is going to be a wall hanging and I wanna make sure that my stitching is kind of the center stage, I tend to use a puffier or a loftier batting uh, because of the fact that I want my stitches to be the, the hero of the project. When you look at a quilt and the first thing that your eye is drawn to, that's what I call the hero of the quilt. Um, so puffy batting, like polyester batting, I use almost exclusively in wall hangings because I want the loft, I want the drama, and I want my stitches to be showcased. So that goes without saying then, if you're a big, more of a beginning level quilter and you don't want your um, lines of quilting to be showcased, then probably a better idea to use um, a lower lower loft or a cotton batting. So that way, because when you use a puffier batting, that adds a whole nother level of difficulty and it really highlights everything. <laughs> Mary, why are you sorry about your sister? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Franny. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying that on camera. Everybody on Facebook can. <laughs> Mary, you don't need to apologize for Franny. <laughs> 
Jennifer, we already have something that holds. <laughs> Woo! Okay, hi Susan from Ohio. <laughs> YouTube. Oh my gosh, okay. Woo, hi Sandy Reese. Read up in the comments if you want to laugh your tail off. Um, Jennifer, we actually... <laughs> Don't shame Franny. Franny is lovable. She's to it's totally innocent. Uh, we already do have a screwdriver, qu pre-quilted screwdriver bags, my sweet, um, for holding all of the screwdrivers. They're on the website already. Okay. Wow. Way to go, Franny. So that is my lecture on batting tonight. Um, the This all came to light this afternoon because I have some people... <laughs> Deanne Hartman, I like Franny too. <laughs> She's a tiny bit naughty. <laughs> she keeps me on my toes. <laughs> so it is fun August. That's right, Mary. It is fun August. So Franny, you have to be present at every show. <laughs> uh, so I was preparing my 24 quilt kits today and a question came up. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Becky, for putting the link up. There is going to be new blue. The new ocean blue color is also going to be available as a tool bag. So, FYI. Um, so anyway, I'm cutting up. These are some sample um, materials for the um, beginning machine quilting class. And I had one of the gals, Mel specifically, <laughs> Yay, maybe this could keep my yes, that's exactly why I made screwdriver bags to keep the husbands away from our tools. It's exactly why I made them. Um, the so in the class, we talk about a, a number of foundational concepts, but one of which is pattern transfer. So if you, um, if you <laughs> Bridget Franny is the best. That's correct. Um, if you put, um, if you're trying, if you have a, a pattern, I'm sorry, you guys, my mind is really tired tonight. If you have a pattern, like a continuous line quilting pattern that you have on a page or a pattern or a, a book, and you want to move it over to your quilt, um, I we talk about two different types of mediums for being able to do that. One of which um, is. My, is the Golden Threads quilting paper. So this is a sample that you'll get in your, if you're joining me next week in Omaha, this will come in your in your kit. And then the other one is, this is a fusible, water-soluble, not fusible, water-soluble, uh, what is this called? It's like a film, Solvi is what it, it's specifically Sulky Solvi, but it's a water-soluble stabilizer for use with embroidery. If you're embroidering something that has a nap to it, you use this as a topside stabilizer. It also works really, really, really well for pattern transfer. So we're gonna be talking about that next week in Omaha using these two different mediums for pattern transfer. And so Mel, to answer your question earlier, this is this water soluble stabilizer is the thing that, um, use we'll practice our pattern transfer with there is benefits and drawbacks to both of these mediums and we'll talk about it in class and i know you already have your sandwiches pre-cut and ready to go so I'll, i got your i have your little sample pieces so you don't have to buy a whole thing of solvi it's always good if you're taking the beginning machine quilting class for me to just purchase the pre-made quilt to go with it because that way you're not buying an entire roll of this stuff if you find during class that you really don't like using it. So, so I like to have the little samples with me. So that is the questions that I had come in today for Ask the Doctor. Um, if any, if I mentioned anything during the show today that is not available quite up on the website yet, then just email me and I'll make sure you get taken care of. I need to allocate some time tomorrow to get our inventory updated. So I apologize and appreciate everybody's grace with just a million things going on. <laughs> it's true. Polly, that is true. Polly says, don't sneeze or lick your fingers to pick up the salvi. I had opened a Coke can one time on the table and it a, a fine vapor mist went towards it and <laughs> like totally disintegrated. <laughs> 
You're welcome, Mel. Thanks for your question. All right, friends. Well, it's I guess if we're going to be short and sweet tonight. Don't get called that very often. <laughs> short or sweet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm delirious. I apologize. I apologize. Um, we will be back on Wednesday, I think, with Polly from the UK. Um, oh, good, Della. Yes, love seeing Mel and Joe. Looking forward to meeting them. So you guys were, Mel and Joe were telling me that she's, that they've met a couple of you. Um, Della is someone that they're going to be meeting. And then there was another, um, some other friends that they have met that joined the show. And I just think that is so fun. S-E-W. So fun that you guys, <laughs> that you guys are finding community with each other as well as with me. Kind of makes my heart happy. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Angel. I'll be thinking about you back to school already uh, this week because we used to live in Arizona. <laughs> I'm 5'8". Yeah, I'm not, I am not a small woman. <laughs> uh, what is the Facebook group for the new shop? I believe it's called Sand Creek Quilting, Jennifer. Um, go ahead and like it. <laughs> oh, Bernadette, are you a tall woman also? <laughs> Not short or sweet. <laughs> I'm trying to rest. I promise. It's just when I go to lay down at night, all of the things start coming in my brain. And then I find myself on my phone, leaving myself text messages for the morning. It's been happening a lot lately. <laughs> oh, thanks, Becky. <laughs> oh, Angel. So all my, the kids... My kids are old now, so they don't go to school anymore. But you know how Facebook reminds you of memories? I've been getting all these. Oh, you are short. Oh, okay, but not sweet. <laughs> I've been getting all these, like, memories of the kids' first day of junior high or first day of high school, and I'm like, my kids are all huge. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to pop off. I'll be back on, on Wednesday at 4 o'clock Pacific. YouTube and Facebook, I think the infamous Blue Diva, aka Polly in UK, is going to be joining us. Y'all, I am so excited to meet her. So excited. Hi, Soshi. I think I need to sip a little more before I go to bed, too. <laughs> Might go find my foot massage place over on Rose Hill. Relax a little bit. Let, let my mind clear. All right, guys, I'll talk to you on Wednesday. Thanks for putting up with my silliness tonight. I'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you.